Have you been feeling more irritable than usual? Short-tempered? How about more tired? Are you eating more? Sleeping more? Well, if you are, you're not alone. These types of changes, among many others, are common when we are overwhelmed. Because we're experiencing a global trauma together, um, we will be seeing acute um, cases of PTSD, um, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. We're going through that, but it's an acute phase, so we're going through an acute trauma because it's current. According to clinical psychologist Deshane Lopez, the way this pandemic has upended our lives and left us in a lingering state of uncertainty, it is understandable that we may all be experiencing feelings of anxiety and depression. She outlines three things we can all do to keep ourselves sane during this crisis. Number one, make a list of the things you can control. Create a table. To assess in terms of the things that you can do and the things that you cannot do. Because oftentimes when we're feeling anxious, it's because we feel that we have no control. And so writing out the things that you can control is a good reminder for you. And it also helps the mind to relax. And while you're engaging in this activity, by the time you're finished completing it, you will feel more relaxed because you will start to sit down and you'll think in terms of what are some of the things that I can control. Number two, practice deep breathing. The second one, um, one of the favorite things that I've heard is deep breathing. Because deep breathing is, um, research has shown that that helps to reset the physiological changes that our body experiences, right? So when we're in that state of distress, when we're anxious, we have a lot of physiological changes. Um, we sweat more, um, we sweat, our heartbeat increases. We're unable to concentrate properly. And then we start to notice even the blood flow in our body. We're very sensitive to what's happening to our changes in our body. So Mm -hmm. when you engage in deep breathing, you breathe from the stomach rather from the chest. And what that does, it helps to calm the entire body. Number three, stop the information overload. The third thing is I would like to recommend people is to take time away from the internet. Or if you do use the internet, take time away. Don't go on. The, don't go on Facebook. Don't focus on the news. Don't watch the news for a while. Don't go on YouTube to get the latest update. Take a pause. That pause is very important because one, it gives you time to process the feelings that you are feeling at this point. You do understand that at this point there is so many different emotions coming up. Mm-hmm. So by putting a pause, you are stopping the. the the trauma from coming in and you're dealing with what you're already feeling at this point. You don't need to have day-to-day update or time or minute-to-minute update. That is not as important at this point because you're practicing social distancing, so you're staying at home, then you're pretty much safe at home. So try to take time not to focus on what's happening, not to get all the latest updates. You could always do check-ins every once, um, every other day. But for those persons um, that do have a diagnosis and have been receiving treatment for anxiety and depression, continue to use the strategies that you've been learning in therapy um, within this time. Lastly, if you're so overwhelmed and you need to discuss what you're going through with a professional, Lopez and other psychologists are available for virtual sessions. Mm-hmm.